Okay, so first of all, wind directions go from zero degrees all the way round to 360 degrees. And I want to take these numbers and turn them into actual wind directions, like north and south. So the first thing we need to do is decide how many categories we want to divide our wind directions up into. So I'll start by dividing them into just two categories, north and south. And that means I need to take 360 and divide it by 2. And that gets me 180. Then I can take all of my wind directions and divide them by 180. And then double click to send that down. And I end up with numbers between 0 and 2. Then I will put this into the round function. And the number of digits that I want is 0 because I want to round all of these numbers to the nearest whole number. And then I end up with either 0 or 1 or 2. Now is a good point to explain how the choose function works. So with the choose function you get an index number and then you can put in as many different values as you want. So for my first value I'll put in apples, then for my second value I'll put in pears, and for my third value I'll put in oranges. And then with the choose function the index number decides which value you're going to choose. So if I have an index number of 1 in here, then it chooses the first value, and that is apples. Then if I change the index number to 2, then it chooses the second value, and that is pears. And if I change the index number to 3, then it chooses the third value, and that is oranges. And so that's why we had to use the round function here because the choose function will only work with whole numbers. Also, the choose function can't work with zeros, so we actually need to add 1 onto all of these numbers in order to increase them all by 1 to get rid of these zeros at the top. Then we can put in our choose function, and this number here is the index number. And then for the values, I'm going to put in N for North, then I'm going to put in S for South, then at the end I will put in N for North again, and Enter, and double click to send this down. So now all the numbers between 0 and 90, so this first quarter here, they get an index number of 1, and the Choose function turns that into North. Then all of the numbers between 90 and 270, they get an index number of 2, and the choose function turns that into south. Then all of the numbers between 270 and 360, so the last quarter here, they'd get an index number of 3, and the choose function turns that into north again. So that's why with the choose function we need to have north both at the beginning and the end. Because the numbers for north are both the smallest numbers and the biggest numbers, so they need to be separated into two parts. Then we can look into changing this to work for more categories. So if we want to change this into four sections instead, then we need to take the number here and divide it by 90 instead. Then we also need to add more categories to the choose formula. So in here I'm going to put east, and then I'm also going to put west. And we still need to have north both at the beginning and the end. And enter, and then double click to send that down. And so now all of the numbers between 0 and 45 get the index number of 1, and they become north. Then all of the numbers between 45 and 135 get an index number of 2, and they become east. Then all the numbers between 135 and 225 
get an index number of 3 and they become south. Then all the numbers between 225 and 315 get an index number of 4 and they become west. Then all the numbers between 315 and 360 get an index number of 5 and they become north. Then we can divide this up into even more categories. So I can have 8 categories if I want. And now we need to take the number and divide it by 45 and enter and double click to send that down. Then I need to add more categories to the choose function. So in between north and east, I'm going to put northeast. Then between east and south, I'm going to put southeast. Between south and west, I'm going to put southwest. And then between west and north, I'm going to put northwest. And enter and double click to send that down. And now I have index numbers going between 1 and 9, but really I have 8 categories because north is in there twice. And then we can combine this all into one formula. So I will copy this here and then paste it into here. And now I have my final formula. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to turn wind directions in degrees in Excel into actual wind directions, and that is everything.